All right, MRI man coming back to you with another one. So I came across this video, it's about MRI enabling telepathy. Um, this lady, Mary Lou, is trying to take the MRI machine and make it into a consumer electronic wearable. She's saying this is gonna dramatically change imaging. She also says it can transform the way we communicate with each other via the brain. So anyway, this MRI wearable system could be made into like almost any kind of thing like clothing, like a ski mask or bra or some kind of bandage wrap. Um, she says it would be a high resolution. It would be at lower cost. She said it would be a, a thousand times cheaper than, you know, like a general MRI. Um, so getting back into how the MRI machine can see your thoughts or read your thoughts and compute it, um, it would be using, you know, functional MRI, which is like a video form of MRI. So neuroscientists have been puzzled, you know, not knowing what a thought is, you know, like what is it exactly? like in your brain what does it look like okay so she's saying that you know there's going to be a way where we can actually see what somebody's thinking you know we have 100 billion neurons in our brain each with a hundred thousand possible connections very you know complex anyway she was talking about in 91 a group at harvard was able to show that the blood flow of your brain as measured as measured in the fMRI uh, the machine can show if you're looking at an image or not so you know that was amazing you know you're like oh my god look the the brain flow changes when somebody looks at an image so they're on to something there in Harvard 91 okay fast forward many years later this guy named Jack Gallant at the University mm -hmm. of Berkeley he first, uh, you know, he was working on this fMRI. He first ran tests on, like, rats and stuff like that. Then he moved on to students. He had the students watch a bunch of YouTube videos while he did fMRI. And, he, you know, took, they took notes and all this data. And you can see different areas of the brain lighting up. So he was on to something. He created, like, a library of students' reactions to the videos. Then the computer using the scan data came up with an image of what it thought the student was looking at it the results were kind of like a grainy image of what the students was looking at and you can look this guy up jack gallant i'll put it in and i'll put it in the uh the box below whatever imagine having like a smaller device for this with higher resolution this would be amazing Mary Lou is trying to get Google and Facebook to fund it. They're not really jumping on this boat. And as you know, fMRI um, is being tested and designed and looked into to read, you know, people's dreams too. And uh, when they're thinking about violence or sex, and it's crazy. It's crazy. And in this video, this Mary Lou video, she was talking about another study with electrode probes that they used on these primates to activate 500 neurons. So they did this on this, you know, primate. And then it could play a video game pretty good, okay? Then they took three primates together and they put probes on them. And they all connected it together. So you have 500 neurons activated and they're all connected with each other. And then they, they could play the video games even better. So with all of this being said, man, it just blows my mind, you know, of how technology is growing. And looking at it, we're going to be able to see what people are thinking see what people are dreaming essentially if we can do that with people 
I was thinking like, wow, imagine we can do this with animals. Seeing what's going on in an animal's head. Seeing the things that they think about. Man, essentially probably communicate with them even better. So that's crazy, man. And it's like maybe they maybe they know how to do this already, you know? Maybe the government knows, you know. My me personally, I haven't even really done any fMRI stuff, you know. We do DWIs of course for strokes, but I never worked in anything like that. fMRI. I knew some tech, older techs that they said they they scanned rats and stuff like that and cats and did fMRI on them, but they they're just techs. They didn't know what really what data that they're really, you know, gaining, you know. So why the question is why would we want to know what somebody's thinking? Why? Hmm. You know? It comes down to it. I've just been thinking like, okay, what about these people that have say for instance they have like autism, some kind of spectrum disorder and they can't you know, express herself. They can't say what they have a speech delay. You know, what if we have this device? Okay, say years have passed and we have this device that is like a hat. You can wear it on your head. I know it sounds crazy. And you can actually see what that person is thinking about or seeing what he wants to say. You know, that would be amazing, you know, or you have these people that have been in accidents and they can't talk and they're, they're paralyzed and they'll be able to express themselves and it's just, it's just amazing, you know, and getting into like how she wanted to have, uh, the wearable MRI thing, you know, that's crazy, man. We use these big, bulky, heavy coils and all that stuff. Being able to just slide something on over somebody would be pretty amazing. Um, she's saying it's going to be cheaper, of course. Things are going to get... Everything gets cheaper. Everything gets faster. And to me, it's good It's good and bad, you know? What happens to us? You know, this might be technology. Who knows how close this technology is, but what happens to us, the workers, you know? Say that they don't need this big MRI machine anymore. They can use cheaper things, you know. And MRIs become cheaper because you don't need that big million dollar machine. You can get a freaking MRI anywhere. What does that mean for the techs? Uh, well, maybe it's better. Maybe there will be more MRI jobs. You, the tech is still needed, you know, to do the right scans and angles and slices so the demand for text will go up i don't think we would get paid less we would not we would probably might even get paid more you don't got to spend millions of dollars and make payments on a machine you know you just buy the little sleeves that whatever you need we might be able to make more money and we'll have more jobs it's just crazy you know, with the whole primate thing, teaching the primates all this. Like, where are we going with this, you know? Is it going to turn into, like, something like like Planet of the Apes? It's going to have... <laughs> going to have them living amongst us. They're actually really smart. Imagine they just choose not to live like us. The primates are like, I see what you guys are doing. We don't want to live like that. You guys are stressed out, war at war. We'd rather just live this life, be free. I don't know. But that would be cool being able to see what your dog's thinking or, you know, stuff like that. And all this data they're getting from us and whether it be Google or, you know, Facebook, Instagram, it's just all this, all these stats and analytics and it's like, where is this all going to? It's going to something much bigger than we can ever imagine you know I think it's going to a lot of AI things artificial intelligence just you know that's the future robotics and 
robots that can t- just look at us and know what we're, how we feel and how, to, how we're thinking and how to talk to people. It's just crazy, man. It's just... But, like I said in my other videos, I don't think AI can take over what we do as an MRI tech. You still need that, you know, person there to position the patient and that patient care. Um... But yeah, you know, not sure who would really want to fund this. You know, I'm surprised like Elon Musk uh, from, you know, Tesla, that dude, he, he's not getting involved with this. Seems like he would be interested in something like this. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we want to know, be able to read? people are thinking you know that would be so crazy what images they see imagine doing it on like a baby or something like that and just like see what they're thinking about and like that would be awesome you know just getting into their mind or just seeing being able to see imagine you wore this cap or whatever this thing at night and then you can play back your dream you can see what you dreamed that would be amazing. Play out your dream and just like, whoa, check this out. Or you want to get in, say, into some criminal stuff. You want to get into this mind of this, you know, you know, criminal. You want to see what the fuck this guy's thinking about. That would be crazy, too. But, uh... A lot of things are getting better, man. Um, they're saying, Elon Musk was talking about, I saw this on the Joe Rogan podcast when he was on there. He was talking about um, being able to download, or something about download your, your brain or your conscience or into like a robot or basically transplant your brain into a robot or something like that. And you just have this robot body and you're just living like that. I don't know if any of you guys would want to do that. What if they're like, hey, we can upload your brain to a robot. You can live through this robot and you'll feel everything and you'll feel normal, but you're actually a freaking robot. You know? What if this, all this uh, fMRI stuff, being able to read people's thoughts and see how it works. What if this is all just like data? We're all part of this data collection you that is just being analyzed and saved up to create these ultimate droids and ultimate, you know, AI for everything, you know? What if it just it just it's coming to that, you know? We're all part of this freaking test, you know, to build the ultimate droids and, you know, AI and, man, you know, it's going to be like in Star Wars, man. You just, it's the person with the most money has the most droids and the most robots just working for them, you know. In the future, you may have to just purchase a robot and have it work for you, you know. Or you're, I, like Elon Musk talking about those automated uh, cars, man, that are going to be like taxis driving around. Who knows? But it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense to me, all of this. But yeah, this is an interesting topic. Comment below. We can talk about it. What do you think is going to be in the future of fMRI? You think we're going to be able to read people's minds a lot better apparently we can see what people are thinking little grainy images and stuff like that let me know what kind of videos you guys want to want me to talk about what do you guys want me to talk about haven't posted in a while i've been working i worked like six days straight this week i'm kind of tired um haven't been able to do live videos because I have to have a thousand subscribers to do live through my phone and I don't really have a computer that I can use. <laughs> so 
Yeah, man. You guys.